Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Under Rail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, and I'm very happy that he shows to join me today as we go uh, back to a place that we've been to already. But we haven't been to this place that, uh, or to this side of the things. Um, I'll show you. You'll you'll remember. Look at it. Ooh. Yeah, we've been over there, uh, but we can make the jump. I think there's a jump. We also killed the sea worms. There were a bunch of them. Uh, I'm not really sure if there's reason a reason for us to be here. Let me. Just a bunch of sea worm corpses. A uh, jump. Oh, yeah, rusted spearheads. Sea worms are really important, as it turns out. Uh, that's three experience. They are super important. Sea worm scales over here. Uh, that's not as much. That's the jump, basically. Wow. So last episode we fought a big nest. I think maybe a couple of big nests, I don't know. Uh, but definitely a sea worm. There were three of them in the map that we started this episode at. It's, it, coincidentally, this this map. This map that we're at right now. I don't know what to do with these, to be honest. I mean, they're very susceptible. I mean, they're, they, they go down easily if you crit on your... Uh, Cryokinesis. Speak of speaking of which, although we did get some really love, lovely criticals before, but not anymore as it turns out. So I'll do a little bit of cryokinesis or cryo stasis. Cryostasis. Is that the name of the game that I never remember the name of? <laughs> there was a game made, I think, by a Russian developer a long, long time ago, and I think it had a different name in Russian, but it was so great. It was so nice. Such a lovely game. First person shooter in a, uh, it's all, it's all ghostly and whatnot in a, uh, oh, you're not frozen anymore. No, uh, uh yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. That's bad. You should be frozen. There we go. Stunned works as well. And it had, it was really spooky. That game was really spooky. Uh, this is, well, can you go away, please? Not enough sigh. I have enough sigh. Go away. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be fear, uh, feared for four, which should give me enough time to just sort of. Uh, are there? There are two of them. Evidently, I'll, I'll hide over here. Oh yeah. Hi. Ooh. Okay. Well, uh, my fear is gone. That's bad, actually. This is this is bad. <laughs> There's two of them, and they're right next to each other. Uh, okay. Uh, oof, bad, bad. That was ill, ill planned of me. I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna do a couple of stuns. I say a couple of stuns. I don't have enough sigh. So, um, as it turns out, not a couple of stuns. Hmm. Three turns. Uh, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't need to take damage for no reason. We're right next to, uh, the exit. And also, should be able to get in through, through here anyway. Wow. Wow. These guys are, are nasty. But it's good that I found out that they have uh, they have things for them, so it's pretty pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of premeditation. Because I can do that at five seconds, I think. And enter as soon as I recover. That's good enough. Because we start, I think we start combat immediately because of the minus 1,000 initiative. Yep. Only, I think only me rolled initiative. Hmm. Well, at least I can flee. These jumps, these, uh, oh, oh. <sighs> these agility requirements are ridiculous. Who has the, oh, I mean, I suppose I have like 15. Uh, oh yeah, that was bad. Uh, that was really bad. Uh, that's really bad. I hate it. I hate it. Can I move? I can, as it turns out. I'll increase my rusting, but... 
Let's try and doing this. Doing do this. Okay. So that's pretty nice. If I move over here and only get one point of that, might be oh yes. However, there is sure to be another sea worm around here, the one that I feared before. Do you know what happened? I don't know what happened. I I don't know what happened. And honestly, I'm a little bit pissed off at that. Oh, thanks for telling me that I'm rusting and immobilized. I, I, I have no idea. It was stunned and then it wasn't. I noticed there was something fishy going on before. Uh, I, that didn't work out the, the way it should have before. But I thought maybe... Maybe it was just a mistake or I, my mistake. Usually it's just my mistake. Um, but... Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. <sighs> anyway, uh, sea worms are gone. Maybe they regenerate when they go under underwater, and that's why I was saying that there's another one. Yeah, see that agility jump twenty? <laughs> Who has twenty agility? You can you can increase your agility by a little bit with drugs, but yeah, it's just I have like fifteen, I think. Now, admittedly, I'm still nine levels away from the maximum level, but at fifteen will. Oh, you're still here? So there were four worms? That's a nice, a nice critical. Although, of course, one shouldn't trust the stun. That's the second wind. And I'm just doing tremendously bad damage. It's frozen for two turns. One turn... So that does a little bit of damage. It's mostly rubbish, but... Hi! You're out of range, I think. Nice critical, just as I needed it. That's a lot of... The, the damage spikes are incredible. Uh, sea worm scale, very high quality, so I'll take that. And I don't think we have those. Uh, we have the second collection for... Uh, you found this spearhead stuck between the scales of a sea worm. And I leveled up. Lovely. Uh, I didn't read it. Uh, didn't read the spearhead uh, description before. I should have. Okay. It's an agility jump. Not just an agility jump. There's a, a hermit crab over here. Who's about to die. There we go. And it had a pillow-shaped spon sponge. Uh, I'm just now reali realizing that the pillow-shaped sponge is a reference to SpongeBob, by the way. Excuse me for not realizing it earlier. I believe I have never seen a single episode of SpongeBob ever. But that's just how it goes. Skills. Uh, I have my notebook over. Excuse me. Oh, I have to take my headphones out. Reach over to my little side table that keeps getting further and further away from me and get my notebook. Because I didn't have it in front of me because I was eating before. Because I eat at my desk sometimes. And on top of, of the notebook, there is a uh, truss rod adjuster. Because apparently Gibson decides that their guitars have a weird truss rod adjuster. And uh, I don't know why they do that. Anyway. Uh, so I needed to buy one. Uh, so we are required to have 45 electronics over here. Uh, I don't know we are if we are there. I think we are not. I don't know if we're there. We certainly require 83 mechanics. So I think we're there, and we were just leveling. These don't synergize? How dare they? Yeah, we did that already. Let's see where, where we're going with this. We get a feat. Okay. So, excuse me. For I must fetch my notebook with a list of feats that I, that I want. And, of course, we have specialization. Okay. So, uh, just normal stuff. Why do we have so little... I don't get it. How exactly does that work? Is it normal for us to have so little lockpicking? Eh, I don't know. Anyway, 
Uh, max out our sight because we have been skimping on that. Temporal manipulation is good where it is. Persuasion might want to have a little bit more than that. It's actually... it Because it's synergizing off of will. That is pretty good. And I think for dialogue checks... Uh, we're, it, it's gonna be fine. Intimidation, not so much, but uh, Intimidation, incidentally, is the one that we actually would like to use. There's a thing with our build. I'm not paying attention to that, so I'm definitely doing it suboptimal, but we're so powerful anyway. Um, and I'm having so much, so much of a challenge anyway, so it's, it's, it's fine. Um, so, uh, I will want to increase our hacking a little bit, and our lockpicking, uh, and then I would say go up on our electronics in our tailoring. Uh, no, 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 not electronics. What am I saying? Why did I say electronics? It is. Why do I, why do I say it's tailoring, though? Just go up on these like that. I think that's a good idea. Just, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we just, we really only need to max out some of the skills, so I think we're gonna be fine. Uh, armor sloping reduces the armor penalty original originating from metal plates. No, no, it's it's not what I want. Uh, what I want is probably hypothermia or psychostatic electricity. Um, uh, there's also things later on cerebral trauma and stuff. Uh, let's see. These are not sorted alphabetically, so it's it's just impossible. Grants you the ability that when activated. Uh, Comas, please. Grants you the ability to make all of your Psy abilities cost health instead of Psy until the end of the turn. Uh, that's interesting. It's potentially life-saving. Critical damage bonus of all Psy abilities increased by 30%. Neural overclocking. Oh yeah, that's potentially pretty good. Uh, hypothermia is this one over here. Your cold-based meta uh, metathermic Psy abilities also reduce target's constitution by one. This effect sacks up to five times. Can be mitigated with cold resistances. So that's pretty good, but not the be all in all. This is the other one. When you damage a target with your electrical psionics, you apply a debuff that increases the chance of that target to be critically hit by weapon and unarmed attacks and psi abilities. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one that I'm that I need. Uh, specifically, I was talking about how critical shots are so important. And uh, they are. They are indeed. Uh, so good news there. We leveled up. And uh, I think we even got more oddities that we needed. No, we did not. No, that's a shame. And now we're level 22? Uh, hmm. Anyway. Moving on. Freaking hell. But speaking of which, let's get you all stunned, shall we? <laughs> Look at all the red things. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Eh, sure. Yeah, it sucks that uh, it stacks up to five times. Critical hit increased by 25%. That's unbelievable. Uh, let's attack you here. So, critical hit. Let's do that. No critical. No, that was rubbish. So, we're going to take damage. Because that was really bad. I really hope you don't kill me, because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I suppose these are good enough, but I can't. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I better, I better have leveled up. Otherwise, I'm just cutting to black. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I leveled up. <sighs> Unless I didn't. No, I did. I did. <laughs> oh, man. There's a dead man. Ah, much better sights. Also, this is a much better sight. What do we have in this dead man? Money that exists in, in modern day, which means this dead man is new. Um, soft padding tungsten steel helmet for quite a lot of value. Uh, solid padding pig leather boots. Not so much. And some shotgun shells and tungsten shotgun shells. They're way too heavy for how much they're worth. And something called Salvation 13. This well-made, reliable shotgun is primarily characterized by its high precision, especially when utilizing its foldable stock. I imagine unfoldable stock is when you... Uh, is the point. And a hiccup uh, in there as well. Uh, because if you fold it, then I suppose it lowers its precision? Hmm. 
Uh, endoscope eyepiece. Sure, that's actually needed. High density foam padding. Do we need that? Not really, but it is very high quality, so I'll take it. Uh, chemical trap case, black cloth, very high quality. Look at that tailoring. Yep. We're gonna need tailoring for days. <laughs> I can make stuff anyway, but this is the high... Look at that tailoring. So much. We're gonna need all the tailoring. Because that's that's all those things are very important, to be honest. Um... They're very high quality, but clearly they're made for, or they're here for, uh... Let's just get some fabric scraps so we can make things. They're here so that we can, um... Uh, craft things. It's, it's, the, the point is to reward me with crafting materials. Uh, and speaking of which, Kevlar. Yeah, just tailoring for days. Okay, I, I can, I can deal with that. And, uh, aluminized cloth. We actually do not have that. We need cloth. Do we? Oh yeah, cloth. I, I was uh, using Kevlar. Uh, very nice, though. Very nice. All very good things. I'm happy. I'm happy to get these. The steel plates we don't need, though. Nah. We don't need them. They're also super heavy, so who cares? Uh, we don't need them for the things that we're making, mind you. Other builds definitely would. Uh, a high-resolution digital scope. Plasma mine case. Medium frequency shield emitter or shield modulator for very high electronics. Um, that's for shields, though, so we don't... It's not, not something that I'm very worried about at the moment. Uh, and I probably should should actually mark these as as leveled up, so I don't remember... They're checkmarked next to them, so I remember not, that I don't need them again. Uh, electromagnetic field stabilizer. Oh, yeah, we were also looking for... Oh, yeah, for I forget. I wonder if the mechanics there for AD3 was for our stealth generator. Because I think it might have been for something like that. It's going to be a while until... Well, it's not necessarily going to be a while until we we uh, go back home. We'll see. We're exploring at the moment. And reaping... Reaping the fruits of our labor, really. Because this is really great stuff all in here. Shade advisor. We got a pneumatic hammer. Soft foam padding. All of it is very high quality. Some of it more high quality than others, but... Tungsten steel plates. Again, not needed. But really high quality. Black cloth. That's expensive enough. And a defective strong strongman arm. It's giving you the finger. Ah, I do enjoy that. And to experience. Very nice. Okay, so... Let's kill those. Now, let's save the game. Uh, and uh, let's kill them. Slowly. Not slowly. I right, let's let's hope that things work out. There it is. So they seem to be afraid, which is interesting. So I'm just gonna not underestimate them. It is two sea worms after all. Okay, we have a single turn of uh, of the thing. That's bad news. Try it again. My problem there is that I probably didn't need to sneak. Um, and also, I might have been able to to use the uh, to use two turns of the thing, but it's very finicky. <sighs> that was my fault, admittedly. But uh, what you witnessed there is something that we learned already. Don't worry about it. It's that uh, if you start casting something while this thing is still going, but you finish casting it while it isn't. Uh, then, then it doesn't. Yeah. So as soon as you're full or there or thereabouts, sigh, uh, you're good to go. So then we're so fast we can do all the things. Let's do this. Uh, uh, there we go. So the problem was the premeditation. It's, it, it is it is finicky the, to do this. What I'm doing right now, which is definitely um, a little bit cheesy. <laughs> But I get, but give me all the cheese. So we're gonna stun them both. Get that psychostatic electricity nice and high. Um, and basically start attacking you. And hopefully land some criticals, because this thing does criticals for days. Speaking of which. 
Um. Hmm. Let's go with locus of control here, and if and fear them both. I didn't need to move, but whatever. Yeah, fear. Fear is where it's at, and we got some criticals. And uh, that's about that. Not really. I can use and should use the spirit potion here. Can't do anything else though. Let's try and go for the fireball. We can also set them on fire. That was actually a critical, so very nice. I could swear. Mm, I'm not sure they actually regenerate. Hmm. Let's see if I can set you on fire from here. It looks like it. This is a dangerous proposition, by the way. Uh, it doesn't look like it's afraid. No, it is afraid. And the reason why it's a dangerous proposition is because using that ability does go through your... Uh, your Psy very, very fast. But we got both of them. Uh, I wonder if I can get to them. I can. And we got some more Sea Worm Scales. Better quality than my current ones. Rusting Acid Gland. No thanks. I don't need any glands, rusting or otherwise. And this is probably uh, potentially going to have passages. I don't remember why this one has a passage, but this one doesn't anymore. So we're just gonna go in. These are ri these are really dangerous areas, though. The stealth generator is super crucial because <laughs> if you don't have it, if you have it, it's just easy to to get past all these. You just you know run past them. I mean, it's not quite like that, but still. Blast cloth. Let's sort. Also, cool soundtrack. Uh, let's take that. Yeah, we didn't have that. It is high quality enough for it to... There's gonna be spiders in here. For it to be worth the hassle. Okay, only two of them. Yep. Nice crits. There's more of them. They're just not close enough. Uh, can I see them? Not at the moment. They're also stealthing. There they are. I'm now off balance. It's not a problem. There's another one. More off balance. They're all over the place here. Not what I want. Oh, they're everywhere. Give me something here. You're alone. I like it when they're not alone, though. Because that way I can find them and we're out of combat. Okay. Off to a, an interesting start with all these big spiders. They're not that big. They could be a lot bigger. I don't want them to be bigger, by the way. Just just for the record, game. Let them be where they are. But, uh... Ooh. Spiderweb Network. This spiderweb's design looks eerily deliberate. It l uh, Like it was made merely to decorate some piece of the creature's habitat without any practical purpose. That's... That's stupid. <laughs> that's... You're stupid, Jen. Je Jerry? Carrie. What's her name? Carrie, yes. Uh yeah, you're 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 dumb. Don't don't say stuff like that. That's dumb. Why do you, have you ever looked at spider webs? They're beautiful. They're incredibly intricate. And like you can, most of them are done to precision and whatnot. But it's not to decorate. If anything, spiders think they're ugly. Can you imagine life of a spider? It's like, oh I can only make this spider webs. Step I hate them. I really like the, the other kind of spider web over there. You know, they look at, uh, I don't know, like, uh, the, um, the big long, daddy long legs spider web. Daddy long legs aren't spiders, but still. Uh, the ones that are just basically big sheets of silk. And they're like, oh, really? Those are so nice. Look at them. This transport was carrying a whole bunch of servant parts. It's a Lemco cargo manifest. 
uh, this thing was carrying carrying that. Okay. Oh, you can see the spider webs moving in the wind. Also, I can see you over there. Also, there's a computer around here making chicka 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 sounds. Oh, yeah, there they are. Health hypo. Hmm. These are this is this is really cool. A lot of blue eel though, all over. 